So, it's three rules. We have finally made it. Where well, we've got four important matches that we uh, have got on our hands. Uh, the first one being for the Intercontinental Championship. Alistair Black versus Kevin Owens in No Hold Barred. Next, we have Charlotte Flair versus Nia Jax for the Women's Championship. It's quite that old design, but whoever wins will design the Women's Championship to their flavour. Next up, we have a very grudged match here. Um, the winner of this will face the winner of the next match. Uh, Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins, last man standing. And then, the main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. Decided in an eight-man tournament, which you've seen in the last three episodes. Roman Reigns, the new tribal chief against the conqueror, the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. We will watch all four of these matches. Uh, we will see who comes out on top. Are you ready? Let's get into this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Extreme Rules. Now, this event is the first pay-per-view after WrestleMania. Of course, there was backlash, but we didn't do that because it's a bit too close to episode one. But we are here, finally, at the first official pay-per-view after WrestleMania. Let's get into the card. So we'll have AJ Styles versus Keith Lee. Dolph Ziggler versus Paul Cruz. And a triple threat between Asuka, Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks. Let's simulate all these three, shall we? Keith Lee beats AJ Styles. Dolph Ziggler beats Apollo Cruz. And who will win this matchup? Asuka. So in Continental Championship, Kevin Owens attacked Alistair Black a week after Alistair's brilliant performance against Roman Reigns. And because Kevin was the champion, he should be at it for the last three weeks. And now it's the time will Alistair take that title from Kevin Owens, or will Kevin still have it locked up in his chamber for months to come? Let's find out right now. Okay. Let's get into this. You see the fiery flames. You hear the treacherous music, you know exactly who this is. Like we said plenty of times before, I had a brilliant performance against Roman Reigns in the quarterfinals of the World Championship Tournament. But now he is fighting for a different title, it is the Dutch Destroyer. Alistair Black. Crowd going rampant over Black, returning and wanting to take his first main roster title. Will it be the Intercontinental Championship that Kevin Owens holds so dear? Um, we don't know, but we can. We will find out when this match gets underway. And when Kevin decides to get out here, but we have to wait for Black to mark his domain in Extreme Rules. And like Kayla said, what well, Jojo said, no holds barred. Anything can happen. What will happen is one man will walk out. The Intercontinental Champion. 
You do got your money on, ladies and gentlemen. Personally, I've got it on Alistair Black. He's been on a bit of a tear the last couple of weeks. And I don't think anyone can stop him at this moment. I think the loss to Roman Reigns has really motivated him. And here is the Intercontinental Champion. As he always says, fight, always fight. But will he fight his way out of... Will he fight his way to a victory here tonight? Against one of the fiercest men in WWE at the moment. Obviously in real life, this man's preparing to step inside the everlasting elimination chamber uh, chance to face Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship but tonight he's here trying to protect his Intercontinental Championship will he though? that's the big question on everyone's mind can Kevin maintain his title and stop out of the black. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Austin not really paying attention to what Jojo said, just Eyes on Kevin. Kevin with his title, showing everyone what he has. This is for all the marvels, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you will be waiting for. The ref with a very sad look on his face right now for some reason. Very serious stern on that face. It's time. Alistair out the gate with a weird kick that just Cause Kevin to do a over suplex. Oh, kick to the stomach, brutal. Picks up Black. Just hit him. Oh, brutal kick to the stomach again. Alistair, just guessing, just trying to get away from Owens there in a different way. Always picks up Alistair Black and a Samoa drop. Getting wrenched on the collarbone of Alistair Black, but Alistair gets out of it and sweeps his leg. Oh, kick to the body. Kevin slowly gets over Black, just punches him in the back. Showing no respect to Kevin here. These two men will want to hurt each other, but will they be able to? Oh, Kevin. Already going for a submission on Alistair. And Alistair easily gets out of that one. And just sweeps Kevin's legs. Oh, spinning, jumping knee by Alistair Black there. Alistair, ropes at ropes, and he hits Kevin off. Now Alistair's up on the top rope. Pointing at Kevin, his target's locked in. Will he get it though? Oh, he gets the back of his neck with the knees, but I don't think Alistair fully connected with them. 
Who's going to go up first? Obviously, it's Alistair, but Kevin not far behind. Kevin drops Alistair on his back. Reversal there by Alistair. The reverse by Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Russian leg sweep. Also, for us going back into the ring, what's going to happen next? Alistair oh, drops Kevin to the floor and just taunting Kevin by sitting down. Oh, Alistair looking to make his comeback against Kevin. Oh, sweeps the legs there. What's Alistair going to do next? Also did the corner pondering his next move. Uh, oh, just a suplex. Alistair again just going to the corner, pondering his moves. Stomped to Kevin's chest there. DDT! Alistair in the corner. Oh, what's he going to do? Oh, eyes up his target. Knee to the face of Kevin Owens. One. Kick out by Kevin at one. Oh, Alistair. What did Kevin get up? And Black Mass! It hits, but very weirdly. Now, also going up to the top rope. And knees to the face. Kevin wisely rolls out the ring. There's the experience of Kevin Owens. Explode a suplex there. Knee to the face of Kevin Owens. <clears throat> Kevin had the first two minutes of his match, but Alice is just ruining him the rest of the time. Oh, cover. Oh, Kevin keeps that two. Thought that would have been too close to the ropes there. I need to move my control every now and then. Also still thinking for his next move. Oh Kevin, what's he gonna do here? Looking poised and ready. Ross also gets the ropes and it's a pop-up power bomb. One, two, Alistair kicks out. Kevin with a shocked stern on his face while blood drips down into his eyes and his lips. Also poised in the corner, pointing his target. Good night, Kevin Owens. Alistair. Oh no. This be the end. Sets up Kevin for Black Mass. Cover on Kevin Owens. One, two, three. And your new champion. Alistair Black just dominating Kevin Owens. A weird black mass there. But the real one connects where it matters. And Alistair is your new 
Intercontinental Champion. Next up, we've got Nia Jax versus Charlotte Flair. Who will win out of them two? Let's find out right now. Here we have the Women's Championship match, the Unification match. SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. The woman in the era, the new era of WWE. Ten world titles under her belt. And she's only five to six years in her career so far. Ric Flair was very far into his career when he got his 16th illustrious title, which has now been matched by John Cena. Which John Cena beat AJ Styles at the 2018 Royal Rumble match to win. But Charlotte, could this become her 11th world title? Let's find out. But the irresistible force, Nia Jax, has something to say about that one. Just a brutal force of Nia Jax, a strength. Alice not Alistair, uh, Charlotte Flair will have to use her speed and her agility which we saw at the entrance to beat Nia and to slowly go after her she'll have to go after the legs of Nia Jax okay the key point of victory here is her legs as we all know and here we see the women's championship on the line Charlotte Naya who's gonna come out on top this exchange here Charlotte throws Naya off the ropes Charlotte ducks under ducks over or jumps over and Spinning neck breaker. Nia still up from that though. And Nia just shoves Charlotte off. Kicks her down to the ground like dirt. And hit it on the ground. Spin. Charlotte's got Nia on the floor now. Oh, what's Nia doing now? Got her arm in a hold. Charlotte reverses it. Punching her stomach and her way out. A chop, which did nothing. Another slap. Knees to the back. Sends Naya falling. Oh, a blocked chop there by Naya. Charlotte holds Naya. Puts it to the floor. Oh, the legs are. This is all to set up for that illustrious figure eight leg lock. Charlotte's head bounced off the off the apron as Nia now is in control of a spinning back fist something we don't see all that often in the world of wrestling slaps her what's Nia doing oh short reverse move a reverse DDT drop kick by Charlotte there Rubbing the dirt on her feet there. Bow 
also right off the come the apron drop kick Charlotte picking Naya up what's he going to do now oh Naya reverses and throws Charlotte back in the ring Charlotte get back up but Naya's denying her that more punches by Naya with how brutal her punches are and Naya's just taking the shots Charlotte's giving up <laughs> but Charlotte comes out of nowhere with a spear now that's something Naya cannot ignore to kick out Charlotte wondering what to do oh Charlotte turned around at the wrong time and now he's back up sidewalk slam onto the knee the spine's got to be writhing after that one push to the face and what Charlotte will do here? Spinning net breaker. Charlotte. Infamous flare knee drop. No punch. No stomp to the head. Oh, Charlotte, go for the figure eight. She's got the figure four. Can she get the eight? She's got it! Naya breaks out of it with ease! No way! Naya throws Charlotte out to the floor. Now what's Naya gonna do here? Knees to the chest of Charlotte Flair. I remember if you're wondering what, where the tag titles are in the last episode, if you watched um, the tag titles and all the tag teams are on Smackdown whilst all the women are on Raw. Big deal made by both the Raw and Smackdown GMs which will be revealed tomorrow night on Raw who the Raw GM is. And let me tell you a little hint this raw GM reeks of awesomeness oh Charlotte's head bounced off the post again and also there's some new looks to raw and smackdown like all drops are on her knee from what I'm seeing so far, it looks like Naya will not give in to Charlotte's overwhelming assault. And Naya's just picking her apart slowly. Charlotte uses her agility there to duck under and a chop to the head. Throws her back in the ring. We see Charlotte pull out the spear and the figure eight, and none of them worked. Charlotte kicks that out. Forearm. Naya. Writhing the neck of Charlotte. You should hear the clicks of the neck breaking. Spear by Charlotte Blair. Cover. One, two. Naya kicks out. Naya kicks out of the spear. Oh, Charlotte. Wait for Naya to get up. What you gonna do here? Oh, kick to the stomach. Oh, natural selection. Charlotte, we're cover now. One, two, three! Charlotte has done it! She's not just a SmackDown Women's Champion, she's not just a War Women's Champion, she is the WWE 
E Women's Champion. Naya's not happy with that. She's just knocked out the referee. She is furious. I don't think there's been a lot of time we see these two women in the ring. But next up, we've got Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Let's get into that right now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. The number one contenders match to the world title. Drew McIntyre. One of the men who will be competing in this match. The other one is the Monday Night Messiah, the Beast Slayer, Seth Rollins. But he isn't here right now. Drew McIntyre is. And he is ready to go. Drew McIntyre, a man with no fear, a man with nothing to lose. Said on Twitter last night that if he doesn't beat Seth, he will never challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship. Which will leave him in a tight spot for the rest of the year. Or will it? Because there's been speculation that after SummerSlam there'll be a draft I won't say that's true because it isn't but there is the draft that is always looming on these stars because at any moment they could be put on a different show on a different schedule and different mindsets will have to be put in play for them but here is the Beast Slayer, the Monday Night Messiah, in some old attire for this match. There comes Seth rolling down to the ring. Obviously we know his, his shield brother's tribal chief Roman Reigns is going to be taking part in the main event against the Beast. The one which Seth Slade, Brock Lesnar. But for now, Seth doesn't need to worry about that. He needs to have his eyes set on Drew McIntyre. Oh. What's Drew about to do something then? Seth turns his back to him. Something you should never do to Drew because he will take that and run with it. But Seth Rollins is here for a different purpose. And he's here to kick. He's here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. But he's all out of bubblegum. So you know what he's going to do, don't you? He's going to kick Drew McIntyre's ass. It's showtime! Except we a kick to the stomach. And Falcon Arrow already. Punching McIntyre whilst he's trying to get up. McIntyre catches Seth off guard whilst he's trying to adjust something there. McIntyre drops him on his back. Obviously, we know Drew is an opportunist. Bit of a edged like character. Any opportunity he sees, he will strike at and do it well. Oh! What a lot. Oh my! It, it's the fiend! Liv! Sister Abbott! What?
Whoa. Where did the feed come from? Seth just love it all smug. Drew is on the floor unconscious. Oh, he's getting up. But where did the feed come from? Oh my God. I was out of nowhere whilst Drew was laying waste to Seth Rollins. Comes from behind and of course we know that anything could go so that was perfectly legal in the eyes of everyone in the arena. But what on earth? Oh, Drew versus Seth. I was still shocked about the fiend giving a sister Abigail to Drew McIntyre. And Drew's up and shining. We thought we saw the end of the fiend after Randy Orton burnt him on fire. And it looks like it isn't. It looks like the fiend's going after something else. I would have thought he would have gone after Randy Orton, but Randy Orton is on the card tonight. Looks like there's repercussions for this match for weeks to come after. Drew's down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, Drew's back up. But Drew is hurt. He is hurting. So, swinging neck breaker there. Oh, Seth flips Drew over. Uh, the rest counting again. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Oh, Drew go up again, but Seth kicks him down. What's Seth gonna do here now? Throws him into the corner. Forearm to McIntyre there by Seth Rollins. Two. Three, four, five, six. My tire up at six. This isn't looking too good for Drew. Oh, my tire kicks Seth. off the ropes, Seth jumps over, ducks under, and drop kick to McIntyre. Oops. Oh, spinning head kick to McIntyre there. Oh, Seth tries to pick McIntyre up for a for a suplex, but McIntyre reverses. Seth down, count of four, five, six, seven, eight. Seth's up at eight. Back time drop, rolls his tree of well, kicks him in the stomach. Kicks rollers again. Down one. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven. Brilliant. Steps up. Oh, <laughs> Scottish headbutt two. Seth Rollins one. Two, three, four. Should have had that when feed came out. Seven, eight. Sets back up at eight. Oh, I don't know what Seth was trying to do there. We reversed it and came back with a solar charge. What two? Four. Five. Six. Seven. He's up at seven. Oh, Seth, what's he doing here? Ultra oh, reverses it, whatever it was. I was too good. Oh, Seth tried to kick him. Drew reverses. Oh, close line to the outside. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Steps up at eight again. Oh, Drew throws Seth into <coughs> into the barrier there. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Steps up at eight again. Looks well, like one claymore or one curb stomp from either of these men will end the fight. <coughs> Suplex there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Drew's up at eight. These two men look like they've got similar wear and tear then. But do we think that Drew. Oh my god. Do we think Seth would have been as in control as he was if it weren't for the fiend? Six. Seven, eight. It's not good. Oh, don't do this again. Oh, Drew reverses Seth Chop with another chop. Drew throwing suplex. But no, that won't be enough. Pick Seth up and a belly to belly. Oh my god. Why? By the way, the main event um, is going to be another video, but it will be released the next day. Uh, just keep you interested. True wins! And he will be going to face Roman Reigns or Brock Lesnar at the next pay-per-view. But as you see there, the Fiend interferes. What does this mean towards the future of Drew McIntyre? Will the Fiend be waiting at every corner he turns? But, <clears throat> there's the match.
Drew McIntyre beats Seth Rollins. Last man standing. But would this have been over quicker if it weren't for the Fiend interfering and giving Drew the sister Abigail? We will never know. <coughs> but ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. I will see you all at the main event of Extreme Rules. We will leave it with Drew McIntyre.